over two years ago after making our first resin keycaps. Evan teased an idea. I have an idea. I'm not gonna share. We'll have some, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the people who are subscribed will get it eventually. I hope it's a resin keyboard. Are they gonna make a resin keyboard? The mood ring keyboard. Okay, that's great, but what about the resin keyboard? Where's the resin keyboard? Introducing the velvet keyboard. When's the resin keyboard gonna happen? You're gonna make a resin okay, keyboard. now they'll make a resin keyboard. So we wanna try to make a keyboard out of wood. If they don't make a resin keyboard, I'm going to scream. Resin keyboard when? Oh God, if you make another keyboard and it's not resin, I'm gonna. We are gonna do an all resin keyboard today. It's been a long time coming. We are making all 68 keycaps and the keyboard case. One good thing about doing a keyboard out of resin is we get to choose whatever colors we want. Which is honestly overwhelming. Yeah, it is a little bit. This video is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform for all your website needs. I've already bought 38 molds. Could we have bought less molds and just have this project take more time? Yes but we're kind of getting impatient. <laughs> it only cost 569 and 87 cents. <laughs> and I also spent another 300 and something dollars prototyping other molds that just ended up not working out. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be like a thousand dollar keyboard. But look, at we, we can use these molds again, baby. So they're an investment. They're an investment. So we considered doing a gradient of some sort across the whole keyboard because that did look really cool, but ultimately we decided that a color block look had more of a keyboardy aesthetic. So after dozens and dozens of color combos, we finally landed on this blue, pink, white, and purple one. Resin time, resin time, do 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 resin time. Okie dokie. So we're just going to start with our top row of number keys. We don't want to do the entire keyboard at once in case we like make a crucial mistake and need to learn from it later. And to make the Do more, blue, do more. I do, do, am. Do so much pigment. Okay. I want this to be heavily loaded. Everyone pay attention to how much like blue versus white we're doing in case we need to recreate this later. Let's see what this looks like. We don't want to make the designs too busy. When we're making a singular thing, a singular pour, we might add a whole bunch of different resin colors, but if we did that for every key across the entire keyboard, it would be too much for the brain to handle. Ooh, yeah, I, I look at that. I think we got the color that's, right. It's that, pretty dang great. opaque. That's great, I like it. Okay, <laughs> all right, let's syringe it up. Let's squeeze it in. And then and push it into the push it into the uh, push it into the stem and inject in there maybe Corners. and then stop a little bit early like that yeah because we kind of want it to cup so we're counting on the top to kind of curve in like that to create a nice concave surface so you remembered concave versus convex yeah baby oh yeah that's so much better yes I think that's the way yeah stick it down in the stem and just squeeze perfect. And I do a few bloops on top. We need 12, but you know, we're just gonna use up all this resin. Might as well. Just yep. in case something mess up. I took the adapter out, so now I'm uh. having to reinstall it. Okay. I thought I was prepared. We, you were so prepared in so many ways, except this one crucial one. Oh no. Oh no, our, oh, our mask I'm, batteries are I'm running, running out of batteries. I'm almost done. It's looking beautiful. Yeah. Okay, um, I do think we need a toothpick because as you can see, there's some air bubbles like in the corner. I'll change into my not as good mask. I, I got it, I got it. Okay, I'm back. Okay, can you uh, see the bubbles? Yeah, let me try popping them a little bit. Uh oh, this has critical battery too. Good Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, we've, done, we've made videos before. Alrighty, little gems into the pressure pot, you go. Ooh, yeah, ooh, yeah. Sorry, this is crucial stuff. Alrighty, level. Woo! And we will see you in some days. Alrighty! I mean, we can't really tell anything yet, can we? We can see the stem more than I thought. Let's, let's, Unmold this one, it's nice. Ooh, 
Oh, that looks, oh, Ooh, the that's color a good though. finish, a good color. Oh yeah, stem looks great. Look at that stem. Stem looks good, no big bubbles. Great surface finish on all edges. Yes, yes, yes. Let's pull out one where you can't see the stem. Okay. Does this one just have more, was this one just filled more fully? It was just filled more fully. Some were yes. just filled more. Yes, yes. This one is much less deep than this. Yeah. So how many did we get that are in that deeper state? We only need 12. All right, I'll be back. It's my fancy light, my fancy light. Ooh, your fancy it's light, baby. fancy light, baby. Ah, I've been trying to hold in my thoughts and emotions while we demolded them, but that looks Beautiful. They look really nice. It's like such a beautiful little ocean of keys. I just cannot wait until we have all the rest of the colors all together. I know. Look at that. Oh my gosh, they're so satisfying. And maybe we'll have less failures next time. I think it was probably the compression from the bubbles. From the air pressure chamber. Yeah. Yeah. yeah That's like why kind they of sunk. Sucked it down a little bit. So we'll aim a little bit on the high side. Mm -hmm. And I think we got it. Yeah. Hmm. Did you want to say your whole spiel about the key types? Yes. Nerd out moment with Evan. <laughs> Do we want to refilm this? No, I like your transition. Another amazing thing about this mold type, most keyboards have a different profile for each row, which means you couldn't use this key over here or what have you. But we're using XDA profile keycaps, which they're all the same all the way across. So that makes our life a lot easier. For our next color, we're going with this like deep purple blue color. Oh, that is nice. Oh, that is it so nice. It almost has a little bit of like duo chrome or something in yeah. it. Yeah. It's more purple than it looks here. Yeah, right? There's like some gold shimmer or something. I want it to be even more opaque. More. More. Just remember if you have too much, sometimes it starts not like, Not mixing in? Mixing. Or settling weird? Yeah, so you can do too much. Okay, okay, I'll stop. <laughs> so are we doing these as well? So this is the backup tray. We need to get all of these, but if we have extra resin, at the end of this, we might end up with- Two keyboards. A keyboard and a half, you know? <laughs> oh, wow. I'm gonna start with the one, one unit keys. Yeah, so you, you just- I kind of did on either side of the stem and then I just like let it fill. We have to remember that it settles a bit more than expected, so maybe we'll do a little extra drop on top of each. This is very fun to do. Heck yes. This is very fun to do, I like this. Now the shape of this mold is a little bit different. It doesn't have the rounded edges as much, it's more square. Yeah, this one's definitely much trickier. It's not as gentle and smooth. Yeah. Well, look at those blooms I of know. color. Oh my gosh, I love that. This is why we love resin. It just like makes design work so much easier because it just happens. Yeah. It just turns into art. Let's hope we got them all full enough. You know, this is a learning process for all of us. Hey cutie, that's a nice shirt you got there. Thanks, I, wait, you're wearing the same shirt. That's because it's the new Make Fail, Make Fail, Have a Nice Day shirt from shopevanandcaitlin.com. Sometimes you make things, sometimes you fail at them. But no matter what, we hope you're having a nice day. This new design comes in tees, hoodies with a cute sleeve detail, mugs, and stickers. But they're only available for three weeks between now and June 16th at shopevanandcaitlin.com. So make sure to snag yours now. That's shopevanandcaitlin.com. Are we gonna end up with like beautiful keys, except for four? Those few? Yeah, I know. All right. Looking good. Let's start with the one, the, the mold we're like most sure about. Yeah, start with I'll the I'll choose normal. a nice one. Oh yeah, look at this one. Okay. This one looks great. Pop this boy out. Woo! Oh yeah. Looks great. Let's go one size up. This is a weird one. Okay. It's more flat on top. Ooh! Oh no. That still looks good. Okay, it is looking good. What's the underside? Different, but totally fine. Different, but totally fine. Flip hey. it over, what was that like spot? Oh yeah, that's just pigment, uh, you know. We just didn't A mix. pigment drop, we didn't mix it perfectly. Sometimes it starts not like, Not mixing in. Mixing. 
But that's okay. Now, it does look different. It does look different. So there's a chance once we line them all up, we might want to redo these, but I don't know. They might be fine. All right, one size up. This might be 1.75, I don't know anymore. Nobody does. Also looks good. That one has a little bit of curve, I think. Now also, different surface finish level. Yes, why are those different? Different molds. So the 1.5 and the 1.75s are a little bit weird, but that's okay. They still look... Good enough. They still look like they're part of the set. Okie dokie. Oh yes. Time for the pink. That's pretty. That's pretty. More. Just remember, you can't have too much, and then you end up with unmixed pigment splotches. They're part of the design, baby. Okay. Start by removing this cat hair. No, the cat hair was integral to the design. Oh, you put that there? Yeah, I wanted Juby to be part of this. She'll make herself part of it. Have you seen my keyboard? <laughs> Eventually, over time, she will fill in any gap. Yeah. I'm so excited to see all the keys together and like what that looks like when they're like spaced and organized in a keyboardish like manner. I know. Is it level though? No. How? How? <laughs> how? All right. Yeah, baby. I'm excited to see how these turn out. Me too. Oh, yeah. Yay! Yay. I'm so glad we did two of these, because look at that. You can see almost all of those. And this one is good. Crazy. Now, we only have one of these, well, and they're definitely showing. Is that stylistic? Is that? Sure. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's nice. There's also just something so satisfying about seeing so many of the same thing. Something about it is just like, it, it, it satisfies. It looks like a waffle. A strange part of me. All right, so for the majority of the keyboard, we wanted something fairly simple. So we went with a white, but this white has a slightly and hopefully subtle red tint. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Like an iridescent pink. Should we add some white too? It's not very opaque. Yeah, it's very sheer. It's very sheer. Yeah, I think let's add in some white. So as we were saying, as we planned, subtle off-white color. Not off-white. Off-white, right? No, off-white. That's a yellowy white. Oh. As we planned and discussed, we're going for a nice neutral white with a slight hint of pink. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Just like we planned. Mm -hmm. Final batch of keys. <laughs> How do they look? Ugh. I think they look great. Look at that. They look good with all the colors. They do. Well, they are a neutral. <laughs> <laughs> Just like we planned. Just like we planned. Now, our next step is not something that was on our original plan, but Evan came up with the idea and I think we have to do it. I want to CNC engrave individual letters on every single one of the letter keys. <laughs> I mean, it will make it like much more usable, but, that, but that's so many keys. It's so many keys, but we have so many spares for me to practice on, because I don't think this is gonna go right the first time. So I made two jigs to make this possible. One, it's just a really simple 3D print to hold the key in place. It just kind of press fits in there and it shouldn't need to be held down since the carve is gonna be pressing, pressing down, down into it. Now that's the theory. Will I regret not clamping it more? Anyways, <clears throat> I made another jig. I'm sweating. Okay. My mustache is sweating. I know, I'm kind of nervous too. <laughs> ah! Ah, 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 ah. Oh, regrets. Yep, instant regrets. It, it, it flicked off the key. How about I redo this so it has a more intense clamping force? Yeah. Yeah, definitely a little bit too loose. You know what? <laughs> I mean... Oh my 
my gosh. Hey, you know, stand back and... Let's try it again. We didn't re-zero it. It could be a different height. It's a new hey. key. Oh, it worked. We might have just gotten lucky, but that's a cue. <laughs> let me uh, let me highlight it a little bit. Just blue tape it. Hey. Boom. That's a legible letter. It's a little bit deep. It's a little bit off. We yeah. have a little bit of work to do, but the concept. The concept has been proven. <laughs> Okay, after much testing, we have figured out how to center our letters and we figured out the thickness that we like. These are looking really nice now. The only problem is we had to go through so many test pieces that we had to do a whole nother batch of keys because we were running out of practice ones, but. This is how you learn. This is how you learn. I'm not and wearing I, the right shirt, but you kind of like, you make, fail, they make, and then, and then, and then like, you know. Are you gonna transition into doing the rest of the keys? And now we should do the rest of the keys. <laughs> For the next challenge, each of our contestants will be assigned a different task. Contestant number one, you will have to make fine art using nothing but beans. Beans? What am I supposed to do with beans? And contestant two, you have to build a beautiful website. Oh no, that's gonna be so hard. And go. <laughs> I'm gonna build a website so easily because I'm using today's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform for building a website and growing your business online. For example, let's say you've made a bunch of resin keycaps and you wanna sell them. You can buy a domain on Squarespace, use one of their beautiful templates to set up your shop, and even sell digital products or offer in-store pickup if you sell locally. You can even set up member-gated areas to offer exclusive content like videos, courses, or newsletters, and make professional videos easily using their Video Studio app. For a free trial, go to squarespace.com, and when you're ready to pull the trigger, go to squarespace.com slash Evan and Caitlin for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash Evan and Caitlin for 10% off. I'm conflicted. The keys, the letters, they turned out really great. They look nice, but they look so nice that it makes the ones that we were just gonna not carve look kind of boring. It's, it's, it's days extra worth of work that we're about to take on, not only because we're gonna be carving more letters, but also these purples just wouldn't work well with the dark lettering. So we'll probably have to recast all of the purples to a lighter color. But it's like, you know, at this point, we, we put so much extra work into it doing these keys. And now because we put a lot of work into it, we want the finished product to be really good. And so to do that, we're gonna sink more work into it. And then it's just like a never ending cycle. Give them the preview that, that gave us okay. all the energy that we need. Here is the preview. We decided to do a little escape key. Yeah. How cool is that? That's a great key right there. Yeah, so we'll design some cute icons for all of these accent keys. We'll pour some more resin and we'll spend more days carving. We still have like at least a third left of this project after we finish this. We, we still need to do the case. Okay, it'll be worth it in the end though. It'll be worth it. Uh, like and subscribe. <laughs> So we decided to replace the purple keys with yellow, literally the exact opposite of our original choice. The resin keys are done and they look so good. They look so good. I'm so yeah. glad we did it. They're really heckin' cute. They're really heckin' cute. And the next step is we need to make an all resin case. And we have a new addition to the team. You may not have noticed him. He's very subtle. <laughs> we needed a big boy to fit the keyboard base. And in keeping with the theme of this project, which is a bajillion hours of work, I've already CNC'd this entire like lowering chamber and... And we have a little uh, mold box. Sorry, I didn't know where <laughs> you were going. <laughs> Me neither. Let's make resin case, baby. All right, and now for a little bit of silicone. And by a little bit, I mean 
multiple leaders. Scooping so fast. Oh yeah. Scoop even faster. Oh my god. Uh, oh, yeah, don't go too fast. Oh, oh I have no. terrible news. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I can do this for a bit while you rest your arms. I mean, you could like film or something. No, no, you're doing great. Go, go, baby, go. This is this is literally my, my perspective. So this is how I see Caitlin. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Wait, let me show how I see you. Oh no. Now we wanna to try to degas all of the bubbles in here, but this doesn't fit into our vacuum chamber. So, gotta transfer it into smaller containers. Thank goodness we have so many total boat buckets. Mmm, so goofy. Could you imagine taking a giant bath in a th th thing of silicone, letting it cure around you, and then like peeling yourself out? <laughs> it started out nice, and then it became like a horror movie. <laughs> This looks like, you know, uh, on those like shows on Discovery Channel or how it's made, it's showing like how chocolate bars are made. And I think that's why we always want to eat the silicone. It is, it looks like a processed food. Give it to me. <laughs> is this gonna be coated in chocolate or what? <laughs> the inaugural first pressure chamber for our new big boy. Who needs a name? If you guys have any suggestions, by the way, we will take them. And every single component of this guy is so, so ridiculously heavy. heavy. It also has like even more arms than Pascal too. This has six arms. Don't make Pascal feel bad. He can hear you. He's right there. <laughs> we love you. You're still valid. He's certainly a lot lighter than this guy. Poor girl. Oh, don't, don't make this one feel bad. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, all right, all righty. Hello? It's not moving. Is, is there air leaking anywhere? I feel like I feel air. It's leaking. It's leaking. Okay. The heck? I might need to put some like O-ring lube on it. Oh boy. We have, we have um, I need, I need the, the, the lube. You know the grease? <laughs> Which one? Aha, this is O-ring lubricant back from my engineering days. Lube it! Lube it! You know, Pascal needed some lube his first time, too. <laughs> <laughs> Did he really? <laughs> what I'm saying is a true statement. It just takes a lot more lube for this one. Oh, yeah. This is e k After Dark content. <laughs> Poor editor. Poor everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Poor everyone. This isn't what they signed up for. No, it's not. Ooh, baby. This is gonna be a messy day. Yeah, really getting into those crevices. <laughs> you want gloves? <laughs> I'm already committed. <laughs> <laughs> going in raw. <laughs> I'm Caitlin. sorry, we shouldn't film this late. I'm sorry. <laughs> Caitlin. <laughs> no, that, that's gonna be cut. It's gonna be cut. <laughs> I think the lube bit it. I don't feel any eyeball air. The lube worked! Yay! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> this is more exciting than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, same. <laughs> A lot more exciting. <laughs> Alrighty. So many arms. Looks good. Looks good. Looks bubble free. How's the slap? Good. Mmm. Ooh, look at that. This is such a beautiful little block of silicone. Nice loaf. <laughs> Solid. Very nice. Yeah! Yeah. Oh, look at that. All right, now I'm just gonna gently, oh yes. Yeah, just a little bit of flashing removal. Ooh, look at that precision. I know. Oh, I'm so happy about that. 
We added a bit, little piece of tape right here so that this would come apart in two pieces. Yes! But they're like joining again, they're touching. That's perfect, that's, that's what we perfect. want. That's exactly what we want. It's the surface finish that we want. It kind of has a little bit of a matte texture because the board that we're gonna be using has LEDs on the underside. And we want it to be frosted so that the LEDs will have a nice diffused look. Yeah. It, it looks like it picks up the texture of this one. This is great. You'll notice that Evan is being a very precise boy. So precise. And that's because we're actually gonna have to do this base in two pours. It is a little thick for our usual slow cure resin and we don't want it to like steam and smoke, but we don't have time to do a slower cure resin and still finish this project in time. So we're just gonna do it in two batches. It'll be fine, we've done thicker. It'll be fine. It just means we need to be like really precise with our pigments so that like the two pours match. Seems like a good pigment level seeing it spread out. Yeah. White resin is hard to film. It is. Come on. Little hole in the middle. Connect. All right, it's in there. Okay. Oh, big boy. Wow, baby, we're getting so close to the end. I know. We're almost there, baby. I'm ready. So far, um, our two pores like look good as one. Yeah. Did they merge nicely? Please merge. I'm gonna go around the edges, freeing it up. Might have a little cleanup on this. Might have a little bit of cleanup. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, and I think this is the right level of like pigment. Pigment. Just the right balance. Oh my gosh! Oh, and the hole, good. the hole came out okay. The hole works. Yay! The USB hole. And it has a nice matte finish. Really nice Which I finish. really like. It'll be yes. great for reflecting things. So, we're adding something special. I got an ultra tiny battery. There's a battery. Whoa! That's how flat Whoa. the battery is. And it's Bluetooth. What? So this right now is a functioning keyboard, but it's without all the, the, the fixings. But. I would like access to the switch to turn it off and on. And this case doesn't have a hole. So, so we gotta drill a hole. And we should be able to see it through here, but we can't. I'll figure you know, it out. We know how to measure things. Yeah. So we have made a resin keyboard. But more importantly, LEDs. Yeah, we, we didn't make those, but we planned for them to be there. Yay! Let's see if it works. That is a requirement, yes. Yay! It works! Yay! It's a functional keyboard! And it's made of resin! And it looks so cool! At the same time, I never want to do one of these again. I also want to make five different iterations of these glow in the dark, rainbow, duochrome, the possibilities of a resin keyboard where you can just like make more and more of them. But I don't really want to make another one. <laughs>